In this video we're gonna give away 7 days of free premium and all you have to do to win is just leave a comment down below with whatever you want to and your in-game name. I need to know your in-game name because if you are the winner I'm gonna send you an in-game mail with your giveaway code that you can activate on the Albion Online website, my account section, activate key. That's exactly how you find it. <laughs> Might seem confusing, but if you try it, you're gonna see that that's exactly where you find it. The winners will automatically be picked by a bot 24 hours after this video airs. So tomorrow, right at this time, you will be able to know exactly who won. That being said, enjoy the rest of the video. Recently, I've seen a lot of people recommending the spear build, the normal one-handed spear build. I wanna try it myself. It seems like a very strong one. Everybody's recommending it. There's gotta be something to it. But will I like it? Because I'm not really a spear guy. But let's find out. Today, that's exactly what I want to find out. I want to go and just try out the spear build to see if it fits my playstyle. Because I honestly have no idea, never properly played spears. Let's see how it goes. Alright, so this is the build that I'm going to be using. It goes like this. Hunter hood, mercenary jacket, soldier boots, normal spear. This I've never used this weapon before. I've wanted to, but I've never used it. And just a torch offhand. You can replace this as far as I know with a mist follow and it would work even better but it will make the build a little bit more expensive. Talking about expensive, this is how much the build costs right now with invisibility pots which keep in mind they're pretty expensive. With healing pots not a huge difference but yeah really not a huge difference. Oh and I forgot to mention the undead cape. I wanna use this because I feel like in combination with the soldier boots it could really help me get away from some really tough situations. Now the reason I want to do this, and I know it might seem confusing because I have like the level 75 spell unlocked, but the reason I want to do this is because I've never properly tried spears. And uh, check it out, yes, I do have mastery 73, but that's because I used fame credits. Look at this. This I used like a few times, three times, five times, something like that in Corrupted Dungeons. I don't remember when I used this. Uh, this I used in Corrupted Dungeons as well, and this is what we're using today, zero. Let's boost it to one, just to, you know, make it look a little bit better. And let's see exactly how much fame we can get. Also, the Hunter, the Hunter food, I don't remember I used it very often. I don't think I used it very often. Much more often than the Spear, it's 55, make it 60, uh, 56, but still pretty damn low. And about the Soldier Boots, this I feel like... Besides the things that I have maxed back, which are like the jacket and the torch, I feel like this is the highest. Yeah. Alright, uh, let me just go and roam for about, I don't know, a bunch of time <laughs> and see how it goes at the end. I'm really curious to see how much fame we make. Alright, first mobs killed with this build and I'm pressing W instead of pressing Q. That's a great start and I forgot to change my W actually. Okay, that's fun. Does this actually work on mobs? That's... Oh, look at this, look at this, look at this. A tougher... Ish. Not really tougher, but... Ish. A little bit tougher mob. I gotta get used to keeping my E for interrupts. Because this is like really useful, even for PvE. Like usually, I would interrupt in PvP or something like that. And not even there, to be honest. Cause every single build I've been playing doesn't really rely on interrupts. At this point I'm just roaming and killing every single thing and I'm kind of enjoying it because it's a very different playstyle to everything I've played so far. So it's it's a nice change of pace, you know? Oh look at this! A circle of death! Oh, I mean a triangle because there's three of them of death. Hey, that should have been interrupted! You guys are cheating! Damn you! Frost mages! boy put something on ain't you cold damn these guys are tough boss alert Ooh -hoo. now you're about to hear my mighty space bar <laughs> it's a very loud space bar i'm sorry oh, i cannot interrupt that oh come on nah you're not gonna do me like that you did. Oh. No. I mean, that doesn't really do a lot of damage, so I don't really have to worry about that. I guess I should just stay closer to the boss. Because that way, you can just dodge everything easily. Easily. 
Listen to you, everybody. You won't interrupt me, right? Or do it. Okay, I will interrupt you then. You interrupt me, I'm gonna interrupt your life. Yeah. Told you. Come on. No. Stop. That was much tougher than it needed to be. What was that? It's that time of the day in which Mog tests his luck. I'm about to get a dialogue. Oh yeah, you do your thing. I don't I don't care. I don't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter I wanted to say. <laughs> Diewolf? Close. Big pool? The big pool of Mog? Oh come on. What however much I interrupt, they still have a lot of abilities to trigger. It, uh, it, it does not matter. I can interrupt all day long. They will still throw lots of abilities at me. Alright, y'all. So after farming for about, I would say, one hour, close to one hour, something like that. Let's see exactly how much spec we made. So this is the Hunter Jack. 62. If I remember correctly, it was at... 6? Something like that. Something like that. Yeah, which is not bad. This was at level 1. Now it's at level 11. It's not that great. Uh, and the soldier boots, which should be, let me see, around uh, here. 80. Not bad. This was at 79. Oh, just one level? For real? I mean, it's a uh, high level, so I guess I understand. But at the same time, come on, just one level? <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> not bad. Not bad. To be honest, I didn't really find a lot of enchanted mobs until the end. Where I really found the jackpot of enchanted mobs. But yeah, this is definitely not bad. I kind of enjoy the build, but at the same time, I don't know if I enjoy the build. It's kind of a mixed bag of feelings for me when it comes to this build, honestly. Because I, I don't know, like, I like the mobility of it. I like the way the build feels. I like the way the build plays. But I, it's something about it that I don't enjoy. Maybe it's just the fact that it's a completely new build that I've never played before. Like, probably I would feel the same about getting into world gloves, you know? Because I just never played world gloves. I have no idea how they play. Maybe a better example would be bows for me. I don't play bows. I would I would be horrible when I'm playing bows. Because I, I just, I just, it's just something completely new for me. Whereas if I'm playing daggers, let's say, well, I rock with that. I have no trouble with that. But that's a different story. I don't know. It's kind of a... I really don't know. Maybe you guys can give me some tips that would help me make up my mind. What do you like about this build? How do you play it? What did I do wrong? What did I do right? What should I change? Let me know in the comment section down below. And that being said, thank you so much everybody for watching. See you again tomorrow.